somewhere along the line, somebody started trying to tell us that it was wrong to be proud of your race. You know, if you were a black man, that it, it's not proper for you to want to marry another black person. Or if you're a Latino, to, to stay within your, your race and marry a Latin. Uh, if you're white, to marry another white. If you're Asian, to marry an Asian. Uh, these qualities um, are beautiful. Um, I think the colors of the rainbow are beautiful. We're taught right now that we need to totally integrate with one another, which is, you know, in a governmental fashion is a wonderful, wonderful thing. But when you have, when you have a society that's run um, by people that don't integrate, that are elitists, you know, I'm going to leave, you know, the basic names of all these people out. When they make you ashamed to stand up for your family and to try to be a better person and, and to try to promote family, like family is, is the wrong thing, okay? The foundation of the world is the family. What's happening is the um, lack of, of, of true men and women that are upholding the family, which then makes the community, okay? A lot of people right now are trying to push in our face that we're going to make a society of, of whatever, okay? And it's not whatever, okay? Children make the world. Without children, without good, healthy families, we're not going to have any good children. I have to be very careful how I talk, but it really disgusts me um, in certain aspects how people can try to manipulate, contrive, and control us into thinking that somehow, uh, you know, because my dad, if you grew up in a certain area, you know, that you're racist, okay? None of us are racist. I mean, you, we have to get this. We're not raci racist. We're not, you know, it's okay to have a culture, okay? What we need to do is get along, you know, not totally, you know, super integrate. <clears throat> I deal with a lot of very, very heavy people from all around the world, um, from different cultures. And, and to be honest with you, uh, you know, I made another video about this. Uh, I enjoy going to Koreatown and eating. I, I, I enjoy going to uh, different parts of, of the city that I live in and experiencing people's culture. I think to demonize the family as a whole, like for some reason that if I, if I stick with my family, if I stay with my family and I work hard, uh, that it's wrong somehow, okay? Um, my children are ten different nationalities, probably three, if you were to do a DNA test, three to four bloodlines. It, it disgusts me that uh, people would try to use that to break the world up to create war. And that's exactly what they've done. If you look at what is going on, there's nothing wrong in the entire world. Okay, and I, that's a really big, giant, blank statement. But the truth is, there are fuck, probably, what, 30 billionaires, 40 billionaires? I know the Rothschilds have like 30 trillion. Okay, there's no such thing as starvation. It's manipulation. And uh, for all of you who understand when I put out love, it's for everybody, period, no matter where you're at. Uh, again, you know, I draw the lines with pedophiles, rapists, and murderers. Anybody that commits an act on a woman or a child, I have no mercy for them. And again, I am working on it. <coughs> Maxine, go outside right now and don't come back in. My kids love disturbing me in the middle of these videos. I'm going to tell you guys something. You better appreciate your families, and you better figure out that you're being manipulated. Okay? We deserve a better world. There's no such thing as money. Fractional banking is a guy had a dollar, loaned out a million, then it went a trillion, and all of a sudden they've got all of us. It's fucking bullshit. 
okay? We're one human race with many colors and facets. And we don't need to... Of course some people are going to fall in love. Everybody falls in love. That doesn't mean all of a sudden a culture disappears because they've got to be integrated. Okay? Stop the myth. Okay? We don't all hate each other. The extremists that are made and manipulated by these elitists, and let me tell you, they are made and, and, and you know manipulated. It's not natural to hate. Okay? You know, I just watched a video right now that just brought tears to my eyes. Okay? There are groups. Okay, if you really, really look around, there are groups that are telling you that they're better than you, that you should be a slave to them. We are, we are not here to be slaves. We are from God. We are all beings of this earth. And we are not here to surrender to anybody. Anybody! It hurts. It, it, it hurts so much. I'm tired of selling out to all these people. I'm tired of having to be politically correct while they devour who we are. Okay? I have friends. Friends that I care about. That are from every walk of life every walk of life and I'm not here to have somebody try to tell me how to how to position me or put me in a in some kind of cage okay if, if you're man I could go into detail on all this stuff all day long but listen we're all brothers and sisters doesn't matter what color creed religion the people that are running us are trying to put us push us into a fight okay there's nothing wrong with our police Okay, there's nothing wrong with our governments if they were clean. Okay, if they were clean, if they had morals. Okay, those of those that want the one world order and need to get rid of, you know, six billion people are on this job and they're going green. It's going green. Okay, doesn't mean they're going ecologically sound. It means go, and they're doing it. Stop the violence. Stop the hate. Stop all this crap, and let's save our world. Okay? One world revolution nonviolently. Stop participating in the hate. Drop the drama and you'll be okay, man. I love you guys and I'm here for you 100%. This is Eric and I, and I push a covenant of love every day. Doesn't mean I'm not perfect. I fail all the time. But I'm working on it one day at a time. And if, for those of you on the middle fence, stop selling out to these devils. Okay, it doesn't matter what color they are, it doesn't matter what creed they are, they're all working together and they're devils.